everyone and welcome to this episode of the Alphabet of Hair. In this episode I'm going to be looking at the letter I which stands for insider tips. Whether it's backstage at shows or on shoots I'm always being asked for insider tips, secrets, just little tips that can help you do your hair faster or get rid of little flyaways and frizzies that kind of thing. So what I'm going to be doing is covering as many secrets and tips that I have as possible and giving them to you. I'm also being joined by my special guest Earl Sims who's an amazing hairdresser, works with a lot of Hollywood actresses um, for the likes of Sienna Miller and Lily James and Earl is joining me to give me some of his tips too. We'll give you some of his tips so that we can share them all and you can take them and do with them what you want. So I'm here with the lovely Earl again. Hi Earl. Hi Neil, thanks for having me. Pleasure. And we also have our friend Dolly with us today. Who's flown in all the way from Canada. <laughs> Overnight flight. Yes. Um, so Earl and I are going to be looking at and sharing some of our insider tips and secrets. Quick tips. Quick tips that we have up our sleeve. I'm going to show you how to get really quick instant root lift using curling irons. This one is the GHD one, which has a temperature of 185 degrees. This one is the Babyliss Pro, which goes up to 210. So what I suggest is that check your iron against your hair, so make sure that your sections will not be any wider than the curling tong, and then spray with some hairspray your section. Give it a little comb through, and then basically insert the curling tong at the roots, avoiding the scalp, and don't close the glove of the iron, but just slide the iron up and down away from the roots. It's about one inch away from the roots and then keep sliding back and forth. One of the things is not to bunch your hair up. You need to keep the hair sort of open, the set, keep the section open. And then once you've got enough heat on, just slide out the iron and there's your root lift or root bump as they call it in America. And then let it cool down, comb it through, you've got instant root lift. Another tip that I've shared over the years with many people is the tip about crossing over grips or bobby pins to our American viewers. These are wavy grips or bobby pins and what we suggest as hairdressers is that when you put them into hair, especially when you're putting hair up, is that you lock them over um, when they're wavy, one sits on top of the other and then they don't move. So this is Earl showing you how to turn day hair into hair for later. What I like to do is take quite a big section, go in at the root and curl the hair very loosely all the way to the end. Like that. That's it. And then just finish up with your top one going away from the face. The sections don't have to be perfectly small or overly big. Just take what you can manage or what will fit into the top. This is about speed. I've done this in six quick, easy segments. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very quickly done. And then, just use your fingers, break up your curls, just ruffle them up. This is not hair for now, this is hair for later. And then, all you need to do, if you've got very long hair, you'll put it up in a higher top knot, or a low top knot, it's up to you. Just take your section, all of it, and loosely pin it very loosely the trick is not to use an elastic band because what you'll find once you've put a band in you're going to have that band mark and then you've got to take it out now your hair's pinned leave it to set for a few hours or all day if you want and we'll show you the results later in the video Another really great tip if you're an avid swimmer and like to go swimming in a pool which generally has a lot of chlorine in, is to rinse your hair under the shower, fresh water, before you actually get into the pool. 
Now I know this is normally suggested anyway as a hygiene thing, just generally to rinse your body, but it's really good to rinse all your hair first with cold water. What this does is it closes down the cuticle on your hair and stops the chlorine from penetrating into your hair so much when you get into a pool. Obviously that's for those who don't wear swimming caps, but I know with a cap sometimes the water can seep inside. A really good tip if you're a swimmer. This is a brilliant trick if you're running around town and let's say you've come off the tube, you're a bit late for a meeting and your hair's a bit fly away. Take a tiny bit of hand cream, not a lot, just a sort of five pence piece, you know, that amount. Work it into my hands, literally like I am creaming my hands. And then work it through the strands. So it's like, you know, you're just creaming your hands, but you use it on the hair and it just calms all the flyaways down. I don't tell everybody. Here's a really great styling tip that's super fast, well, kind of fast. If you've got sort of fairly smooth hair and you want to wake up in the morning with more sort of soft waves, this is a really great tip. What I do is when the hair is clean, basically spritz with some water, just a little, so you can wash your hair and just literally rough dry it so that it's you don't have to dry it with a brush. Spritz it a little so it's a little, just a tiny bit damp. What you do is split the hair into two sections. I've already done this side and you very loosely braid both sides. You can start here or you can start here. You can even start at the front if you want. So I'm starting this around the crown area. Take three sections like a normal braid and here I'm doing a loose Dutch braid where you cross the outer sections underneath the middle one and continue adding hair from the sides as you move towards the ends. When you get to the ends, tie it loosely with a sort of soft elastic and flatten or loosen the braids out a little bit and then spray them with some hairspray on top and underneath. And then basically sleep with these in your hair and we'll come back to the finished results later. Another tip for putting hair up is take a U-pin like this. This is the finer one. This is what we normally use to just finish off and get rid of all those little sort of finer hairs that still need pinning out the way. And what you actually do is you create a V-shaped hook on the end of the pin like that. And then when you slide it into the hair, it hooks onto the hair inside and it won't actually slip out. If you've got naturally curly hair and you've slept on it and it's a bit flat, quick tip, use a curling iron close to your natural curl and just take random sections, go in as close to your root as you can, hold it there and work it down through that curl. And then that bit around the front, just go in opposite way and you can see a loose bit on the other side so I'm coming around to tackle that now for people who aren't that used to using an iron like this you can another little tip take your section and just wrap it around like that it might be easier for you that way Close to opening the barrel. You get it to the root as close as you can, pull it out, and there you've got a bit of a bend with your curl. Then you just come in after each section and just break it up. Pull it apart with your fingers. Just so you mess it up a little bit. And there's your quick tip, curl revive in minutes without spending too much time. Most hair dryers these days have a cold shop button, but a lot of people don't really know what the cold shop button is for. Here's two dryers. One is the Babilis Brava. This is the GHD dryer. And the cold shop buttons are here on the inside of the handles and you normally press them and they automatically make the hot air change to cold. This one is the Dyson hairdryer and their cold shot button is on the outside of the handle 
just underneath the on off button and again when you press it it cuts out the hot air and changes it instantly to cold. So it's always important when you blow dry your hair to get the roots dried first. If the roots are still damp when you've finished then the hair will be flat. So what you need to do is check that your roots are dry and then you insert the brush and then you press the cold shot button with your hair around the brush and you blow the cold air onto the hair. Basically just blowing it away from the roots down the hair shaft so you don't get any flyaways. And then when the hair's cool, take it out and there's your root lift. To then get your hair to set in a bit of a wave from the brush, you continue blow drying from mid lengths through to the ends. And then when you think the hair is dry, you roll it round the brush into the roots, making sure all the little flyaway hairs are in. And then again, press the cold shot button and just literally set the hair. And so now you know what the cold shot button is for. Another great little tip I want to share with you is about how to set in your curls when you've curled it with a curling iron to make it last so it will last you all day. And basically it involves curling iron, these clips, or you can use Kirby grips or bobby pins for our American viewers. And I'm gonna show you how to use these to make the curl last longer. So I've sectioned my hair off as if I'm gonna curl the hair with the iron. And I'm just gonna spray with a little bit of hairspray, comb the section through. technique get a little bit of root lift and then slowly feed in the hair to the curling iron till all the ends are in tip as well as put the comb underneath make sure you've got heat resistant comb and then when you take that out you take one of these and you place it inside there so that sets and basically what will happen is as the hair cools down it will set more in the shape that you've created with the curling iron if you let that just drop and let it cool the curl or the wave will be a lot softer because it will cool down the gravity will pull it down. So you can do this with another technique as well. Just take your section, spray, pull it through. Also, so if you do this technique, where you just wrap around, which a lot of people do now, Rather than letting it hang down, just curl it back up with your fingers. And again, with one of these or a grip, just pin it like that. So, Dolly's back from shopping. Just take out your grips and then just break it up with your fingers. It's good to kind of use the hairdryer, but don't have the hairdryer on a hot heat and just make it look like, you know, that's how the hair naturally is. So that's one of my tricks. And that's the finish result. With the trend of soft waves becoming really big right now, a lot of people have said to me how they feel that they don't use their straightening irons anymore. I'm gonna show you how you can use these irons. This is the GHD irons, but you can use any straightening irons and basically create from sort of like roughly textured hair and turn it into a salon blow dry. A lot of people have used straightening irons in the past and they make their hair so straight, it ends up looking a bit like a synthetic wig, which has always been my pet hate, I'll be honest with you. But with this technique, I'm gonna show you how to create what looks more like a blow dry. So nobody will even realize you've used your straightening irons, but your hair will look gorgeous. So when you're here, don't clamp it really tight. 
put the hair inside and just gently press so you can see there's still a bit of space in there and you just slowly move it down the hair and when you get to the end give it a little twist and a bend so iron in very soft on the hair and just gently and down and when you get to the end twist and bend this tip is for people who maybe have quite straight hair or who blow dry their hair and it ends up being quite sort of glossy and shiny which obviously is great but then they maybe want to put their hair up and sometimes this hair can be a little too slippy to be able to create a hair up so what I'm going to show you is a very quick technique using texture spray that just gives the hair a little bit of a grip so you can actually pin your hair up and put it into an updo really easily. Take a texturizing spray like the one I'm using here which is the L'Oreal Techniart Sauvage Panache Powder Spray. Thoroughly spray all the way through the hair remembering to do the underneath areas and all the roots. Next take a couple of U-pins and twist the hair up into any shape you desire. The texture spray gives your hair the grip to stay in the updo. Now let's go back to our creating waves with braids. So these have been left in overnight and I'm now just undoing them and I'm going to use my fingers as a comb and a brush to loosen out the waves that have been created which is a combination of the hairspray and the braids together and as you can see we've now got these sort of gorgeous soft waves and I'm just loosening them up and giving them a bit of texture. And that's a really simple way to get these beautiful, gorgeous, natural looking waves just by braiding. A lot of girls and women love to wear their hair these days in this sort of textured beachy wave, but they do sometimes talk to me about how they have problems with flyaways and how to get rid of them. This is a really great trick that I know I use and lots of other hairstylists use on shoots. It's called the toothbrush trick. This one is by Boo Woo Bamboo and you can also use a regular toothbrush but maybe not one that you actually brush your teeth with like a either get a new one or an old one but you literally just get um, anything that resembles a toothbrush or looks like a toothbrush and then you spray it with some hairspray so you spray like that wherever your flyaways are you just skim the surface of the hair and hairspray goes do another one and the hairspray goes onto what it doesn't do is disturb the hairstyle you've created so it just tames down exactly the ones that you want to tame final tip Neil what yeah. is it what is the final tip I'm going to say and so we've reached our final tip tips final tip tip of tips <laughs> wouldn't you tip. say tip and so we've reached our final tip and this tip is one that you need to do at night and you know what i'm going to say don't you well silk pillow sleep on a silk pillow at night and you get a lot less breakage because it's a lot more gentle on your hair and it gives it quite a lustrous finish sure does see you soon if you like this video and want to see more, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is here. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter.